So today we're going to be putting the Void turret up against the Vulcan turret to see which one is better. We're going to see which one does more damage, which one is better for far range, and just which one is the best turret. After we test out to see which one's better, we'll have a fight with 5 Vulcan kits versus 5 people getting Void turrets. But let's see what's better. Will this new item be better than the Vulcan turret? Before we start testing this, did you know that the world record for subscribing with notifications on and liking the video is just one? one second. So try to beat that world record in three, two, one, go. So I've got my friend right here and we're going to place both turrets. So we've got the Vulcan turret and we're going to shoot him with it. So it shoots pretty fast for eight damage. So I'd say this can definitely do like at least maybe around four or five shots per second. So if you hit all of your shots with this, this can literally do like 32 damage per second, so you just gotta spam someone with it for a while, and it should be pretty good, but it shoots pretty fast, you can do a lot of spamming with it, and so right now we're just testing it for close range, it is pretty good, the Vulcan turret is actually very useful. So now he has emerald armor, and we're gonna test it again just to see how good it is still. So now it only does 2 damage, but we can still hit about... Four, maybe, yeah, probably around four times per second. But we can hit a few times per second, so it still does a decent amount of damage to Emerald Armor. Let's test out the Void Turret. So when you buy the Void Turret for three Void Crystals, then you will get this Void Control thing. So here's what the Void Turret looks like. It makes everything look like the Void, so it's actually a bit different. This one, it just looks normal, but it is a little staticky. The Void Turret actually is not staticky at all, which is pretty nice. You can see a lot better, but when you're aiming in the general direction of someone, so like all around right here, you can click and it will lock onto them and explode. So this only does 6 damage, but wherever they are, it actually locks onto them. It does a lot more damage, like it literally does 6 damage to Emerald Armor when this does 2 damage to Emerald Armor, even though it shoots a lot slower. So without armor, the Vulcan turret does 8 damage, and this does... 20 damage. So without armor, the void turret does 2.5 times as much damage because 8 and then 20, but with armor on, the best armor you can buy in public matches, the normal turret does 2 damage, and the void turret does 10 damage, which is 5 times more. The void turret has more armor penetration, it's better in late games, I guess, so if your entire team had void turrets, you'd definitely be able to spam anyone with any armor. So the void turret is looking better for late game, but still, this, you can get about, I'd say the normal turret, you can do about 30 damage per per second. Then the void turret, it takes one, two, it takes like three seconds. So 32 damage per second versus like 6.3 damage per second. Okay, so now for knockback. The normal turret, one hit is gonna knock you back four blocks. So that's actually pretty far. Then the void turret, you gotta wait a few seconds, but it is going to knock them back only three blocks. Okay, so the normal turret literally knocks back a little bit more, even though it's really slow. If someone's running around, you just have to be aiming in their general direction, so no matter what, you can still hit them with the void turret, but the normal turret, if they're running around, it's a lot harder because they're actually moving and it doesn't lock onto them. So in a way, the void turret's kind of like a heat-seeking missile, like it's guaranteed to hit them as long as you're aiming in their general direction. Now we're gonna run the final test, which is gonna be for long range. So I'm gonna give him some telepearls, go to mid. So now for the final test, which is better long range? So the Vulcan turret, you can hit people from far, but if they're running around, again, it's gonna be a lot harder. So the Vulcan turret, wait, I just killed him. Okay, well. The Vulcan turret can pretty much go across the entire map. Like, you can basically shoot it as far as you want. Let's try shooting it again and see how far it goes. Well, it disappears after a while, but you can go around most of the map. Like, even though there is a range, you can still make it pretty far. Then the Void turret... Yeah, I can't even hit him from here. I'm gonna tell him to slowly come closer so that we can measure how far the range actually is. <laughs> How'd he fall off again? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna undefin. Get ready. I'll just tell you when to stop. I'll just tell you when to stop. So keep going. 
Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. Wait, go back a little bit. Go back like two blocks. Go back another block. Okay, step forward one block. So this is the maximum range you can hit someone from, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can hit people from up to 14 blocks away, but once they're like over 12, you have to be aiming directly at them. So this basically has a range of 12 to 14 blocks. I'd say that's probably around 50, 75, like all the way before it disappears. So not only does the Vulcan turret have a lot more range, but it also shoots faster, does more damage per second, and it just seems to be better overall. So the Vulcan turret definitely wins the competition against the Void turret, but the Void turret is guaranteed to hit. The Void turret's more of something you'd only use on your bed defense. I'm pretty sure it's just meant for your bed defense, but it definitely does not have that much range. So we've got five Vulcan kits and five players that are going to be using Void turrets. I'm on the Void turret team, so my team just has to wait until the Void opens to get all of the Void crystals and get Void turrets. Then the other team, since they're Vulcans, they can just go to mid, get emeralds, and get Vulcan turrets. But if we put a lot of Void turrets, I'm pretty sure we can just like switch between them and then keep doing the Void attacks. So, okay guys, get diamonds and upgrades. We need sharpness and defense for grinding void crystals. I'm gonna go out for diamonds. If we take the other team's diamonds, they won't be able to get that much, so that's how we're gonna sabotage them. It doesn't look like they're building to their gen, so I might as well take it. Oh wow, they already have a Vulcan turret, but it's like out of range from where I am. We also need to take the emeralds to not let them get anything. I'm gonna tell my teammates, get emeralds so they can't get turrets but we need to just stop them from getting emeralds because all of them are vulcans they can't get any emeralds from kits they have to go to mid so if we kill all of them then they kind of can't really do anything but they do have a turret at their base and they're shooting my teammate they have like five turrets that is a lot at least they built kind of a big bridge now we're gonna try running over there are only five of them they probably don't see me I'm gonna tell my teammates, get fireballs, we break their turrets. Cause if we break their turrets, then they have to get more emeralds, but we can't let them get a tier three gen, cause that will just let them get as many turrets as they want. Cause tier three gens are actually like a little fast. Okay, let's pick these diamonds up and it's only two. I'm just gonna drop them there so more diamonds can spawn and whoever goes next to the diamonds is gonna get diamond things. Oh wait, there's a guy in mid. All right, we're gonna fireball this one because I do not like it. And there it goes. Oh, this guy's behind me. He probably got some emeralds for his turrets, but it looks like not much of my team is here. So it's just a few of us getting at everyone the void crystals. It looks like, oh wait, that guy's on the other team. He came to the void to kill us, but I killed him and he didn't have any void crystals. Okay, well, we all got void stuff and I can afford three void turrets and you have to buy it. So I'm just gonna give my teammates my two void crystals here for void turret someone. So it looks like we can just switch in between them and whenever someone rushes we can just go to the void turret and attack them. The max range we can reach is probably around like right here. The Vulcans are able to shoot us from there but we can't shoot them back because they're... Oh, one of them is coming over here. It looks like it's void turret time again. Yep, there we go. We just shot him with two. So the good thing about void turrets is you can literally just keep switching between them. So the void turret can be pretty overpowered since I don't think there's a limit. Oh no, he's mining his void turret. Their strategy is just to mine them and spam us. So you can just switch between them, use them on people, and if your entire team has a lot of turrets, they're gonna take a lot of damage probably. Like, I'm just waiting for this guy. All right, there is one thing, even though Vulcan turrets have a lot of range, they can't protect against fireballs and telepearls. I respawned inside of the void turrets view. I still have both of mine down. Let's check how many they broke. I think they have a lot more Vulcan turrets than us. But my teammates are killing them because I got their bed and I mean they can't, they, they can rush. I think I have one, yeah I just have a one emerald in there. Alright, we just need like a couple more emeralds and then we can get diamond armor. 
Yeah, that was Void Turret versus Vulcan Turret. I'm... Void Turret technically won the battle, but Vulcan Turret is better, I promise. Okay, so yeah, that's the video. Join T underscore claim by putting T underscore in front of your display name, then joining my Roblox group named Bedwars Gods. The link near the top of the description of this video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.